welcome folks and welcome to NXT Week 7. We've got a headlock applied by Darren Young as he faces off against Connor of the Ascension. Nice uh, pop up there by Connor as he just drags Darren across the mat. We haven't seen Darren since the triple threat qualifiers for the NXT Championship. That was uh, about five weeks ago or so as we see a nice backbreaker by Connor here. We also have Justin Gabriel by wing ringside. He faced off against Victor, I believe it was two weeks ago, and got a victory over him. He's going to show support here for Darren Young, another wrestler from the main roster that has come down here to NXT to try and show off themselves a bit more here. Series of elbows into the lower back and a counter from Connor as he gets himself back up here. The powerhouse of the Ascension now going for a nice sidewalk slam, taking Darren Young down to the mat. The Ascension are not exactly known for their individual performances. They work extremely well as a team. As we see a nice Irish whip coming in from Darren Young here. And Darren Young also a tag team specialist. Uh, part of the former primetime players with Tyrus O'Neill. He's been teaming up with Heath Slater as of yet. And we'll be seeing them in a tag team match later tonight. Huge scoop slam. Throwing Darren Young across the ring. As Darren Young able to get up, but a nice lariat takes him down as well. As Connor now keeps the pressure on Darren Young. Uh, the Cape Town Werewolf, Justin Gabriel, trying to show support here for a friend in need. Nice flapjack here as Connor continues to destroy Darren Young. He rolls him over for the pin here for one. Only a one count. Darren Young able to kick out. Will Connor go for a bigger finish here? Headlock applied. He's going to drag him around the ring. Going to go for those ropes. Going to send Darren Young against the ropes. Going to look for something here. Not quite able to get it. We've seen this error a few times here where the uh, wrestler cannot quite make the connection on the ropes here. But we see a huge gut buster sending him down on the mat. He might look for a pin in this corner. He's going to pick up Darren Young. Going to go for something here. Headlock applied. Countered by Darren Young as Darren Young tries to show some aggression here himself. And get some damage in onto the Ascension's Connor. Big strikes coming into the gut. The tag teams in NXT have been uh, flourishing as somewhat. As you see a nice leg drop across the threat, uh, throat of Darren Young. But there has always been the single team at the top. Slater Gator. They were the former tag team champions. Lost it to the Usos that are over on SmackDown. Not yet gotten their chance to take those titles back. Countered by Victor as he does a full Nelson slam. Sends Darren Young down on the mat. It looks like Darren Young is just completely passed out for a one, two, three. Connor takes the victory for the Ascension. Here is your winner, Connor. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life. Here we have another one-on-one -on -one matchup here between Finn Balor and Jay Uso. With both of these guys having their tag team partners by Ringso side here, as Finn Balor has Hideo Itami, and Jay Uso, of course, has Jimmy Uso by ringside. Head drag takedown by Finn into a nice kick to the back. See, uh, Hideo is actually going to be in our main event tonight against Sami Zayn the first time. Those two guys get to face off for quite some time here. As we see an Irish whip coming around. Nice Samoan drop combination there by Jey Uso. Uh, going to try and probably try for a big move. Actually just going to go for a leg drop onto the leg of Finn Balor. Finn Balor has not had a huge string of victories here. But has been able to keep himself in the middle of the pack. Nice belly to belly suplex here. The team themselves, uh, Finn Balor and Hideo Itami, have kept themselves fairly higher on the uh, tag team ladder, but individually uh, not so high as to be near the top. As we see an Irish whip coming around here, countered by Jay Uso as we get a DDT. Now the Usos, of course, uh, these are from the 2013 version of the Usos. Uh, we have the other Usos who are the champions over on SmackDown. Nice backbreaker there by Finn Balor as we see... Jey Uso get grabbed by the gut, and we see a nice gut wrench just slam there by Finn Balor. Finn Balor, a famous Irish wrestler, also very famous internationally in Japan. 
as we see a nice drag around the ring here as Prince Devitt, as he would also be known as a nice knee to the face with a lot of a uh, setup to that as he now picks up Jey Uso, going to look for a win in this particular setup. He's got him up for a double gut buster, stabbing him in the gut with those knees as he goes for the pin here for a one, two, kick out by Jey Uso, able to keep this match going here as now a nice strike by Finn, now going to get a Irish whip around the ring as Jay keeps Finn in the corner here. But a counter by Finn brings Uso into the corner. Nice knee there. Bring him out for a nice clothesline as well. Taking Uso down onto the mat. Pick up here. As Finn Baylor now going to go for a headlock. Oh, nice driver. Going to send that head straight into the mat. It's sort of a suplex driver as he goes for the pin onto Jay Uso for the one, two, three. No. Oh. I thought, I thought Jay Uso would not be able to kick out of a move such like that. Nice drop kick here, but you got to know that Samoans definitely one of those people that have a very strong here head in the WWE here. That driver might not be as powerful to the Usos. Double gut buster once again. We'll go for another pin onto Uso. He looks like to be looking for, yes, he goes for that pin. One, two, three. The gut isn't as strong as the head of Jay Uso. Finn Balor wins. Here is your winner, Think Back Low. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life. Here we have a fatal four-way between uh, four top dogs of NXT right now. We've got Baron Corbin, Bull Dempsey, CM Punk, and Darren, uh, Daniel Bryan almost said Darren Young. We saw him earlier tonight. Irish whip into the corner by Bryan onto uh, Baron Corbin as we see a switch partners here. As we see now CM Punk and Bryan facing off. They faced off on the first week of NXT. Uh, they or perhaps the second week, and they were in the first round of the number one contenders tournament for March Madness. As we see a big slam from Bull Dempsey onto CM Punk. Both men from NXT trying to attack the uh, WWE legends, so to speak, as they would be here in NXT. Nice uh, uh, leg sweep by Punk onto Bull Dempsey as he picks him up here. Nice suplex from Baron Corbin as well. Corbin has shown that he has always been near the top of the NXT uh, tower here as we see a counter by Brian here. Brian and Punk, even though they did not get huge victories in that uh, March Madness tournament, they kept themselves near the top. They see a coordinated series of moves as Bull Dempsey goes for a pin one. Only one count as it seems like uh, Baron Corbin got rid of that pin. Now just uh, for, use, for those interested, Daniel Bryan won that match between CM Punk and Bryan. Seeing as kick to the gut there or knee to the gut to Baron Corbin. As Bull Dempsey went to the outside, this is, a, I said it as an extreme rules match, although uh, normally fatal four-way matches are sort of extreme rules, no disqualifications anyways, as there's no way to really disqualify only a single person and keep the rest of the men intact. So we've got a nice couple of strikes by Bull Dempsey here onto the face of Daniel Bryan as all four of these men try to put themselves at the top of NXT. Now this will not be a guaranteed number one roster slot as we saw on uh, Raw. We had a triple threat match. The, there are several other top names on NXT that are actually in tag team competition right now and they have not yet decided if they will be going for the WWE Gold. As these people, Bull Dempsey going for a pin. It's a, it's a two and a half as Bull Dempsey just barely kicks out. And now Baron Corbin going for a pin himself on to uh, CM Punk. Bull Dempsey able to break them up though. As you see now, oh, there's that uh, um, end of days onto uh, Bull Dempsey. CM Punk now going to pick up Bull Dempsey, going to look for a move himself. I thought he might go, oh, we got a sack up in the corner. But, oh, no sack up move, however, as CM Punk stops Baron Corbin in his tracks, picking up Corbin, Brian, and Bull Dempsey both come out of that corner now. As you see an Irish whip in several directions. Nice arm drag takedown by Brian. Nice classic knee bulldog by Punk right into the center of the ring. We'll go for a pin onto Baron Corbin quickly. Yes, he's turning him over. Headlock applied by Dana Bryan. Going for a suplex. 
might land on top of Corbin. He kind of does, but he goes for a pin, but broken up by Corbin as these pins are fast and furious. He goes for another pin now, but it's broken up once again by Bull Dempsey. Huge power slam by Corbin, and now he goes for a pin. Ref uh, g getting a bit tired from having to go up and down so, so many times. Fatal four ways lend themselves to slightly faster matches than triple threats. As you see, a nice counter by both uh, men. Nice head, sort of a suplex there. As now Punk grabbing Corbin, trying to put him up against the ropes. But Daniel Bryan in the way there. Going to look for another set of ropes and just gives up for a moment. Oh, there's an enziguri to the back of the head of Baron Corbin. Countered by Daniel Bryan into an arm drag takedown. As he might pick up Bull Dempsey. Whipping into the corner here. Oh, this is a sleeper hold by Brian onto Bull Dempsey in the corner. Okay. Uh, CM Punk was able to stop that. Another enziguri to the side of the head of Baron Corbin. As now we see the yes lock and a pinfall. One. Oh, there you have it. Okay. So this is what happens in the game sometimes. You have to break up both combinations of falls. One, two, only a two count. Nice uh, gorilla press slam by Bull Dempsey as he goes for another pin once again. Daniel Bryan going for the double pins here uh, in this matchup. Uh, hoping that just several kickouts will tire him in a lot. Oh my, we've got CM Punk. He's got Baron Corbin up. And that's the go to sleep. He just busted open Baron Corbin. Bull Dempsey now taking up Daniel Bryan. But Bull Dempsey going to try to steal the pin. Bryan up to stop that pin attempt. Now you see Bryan with a nice German suplex. On the back of CM Punk. CM Punk able to pop himself up, back up as he picks up Brian. Nice kick to the gut. And we're going to see a comeback maneuver here. Drop kick. But as he's stuck in that comeback maneuver, he got a pin by Bull Dempsey for the three count onto Baron Corbin. And the NXT competitors make the fall. Here is your winner, Bull. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life. Here we have Slater Gator and J&J &J Security facing off here. Now these guys have been feuding off and on for the past few weeks. But this time they have both vowed that they are coming into this rivalry with a newfound aggression. And they want to finish this rivalry off. Headlock applied by Heath Slater, but he gets taken down on the mat. Some of these guys are ranked near the top of NXT. We got Heath Slater, who has the top ranking on NXT. And then I believe it's also Jamie Noble and Titus O'Neil are within the top five. As you see a nice strike from the gut. We just saw four other top ranking competitors fighting off in a fatal four-way matchup in which uh, Bull Dempsey was able to steal the victory away from the WWE veterans. Nice strikes to the gut by Heath Slater as he turns over uh, Noble as we get a nice series of strikes coming once again into the face of Noble. Pick up here. Heath Slater going to go for a headlock here onto J&J &J Security as we get a nice power slam here as the former tag team champion continues his aggression with a series of strikes to the gut. Noble now gets picked up here as we get another headlock in the center of the ring. Head drag takedown here as he keeps him in the center of the ring. Another series of strikes to the gut here as Jamie Noble now trying to just run away here. Oh, now we've got that scissor kick that he's used to finish up matches. He's probably going to go for a pin right after that. Yes, he is. Will Mercury break it up? No, he does not. Joey Mercury, a by ringside, has not yet even been in this matchup. Now we've got this. Oh, it's a twist of fate. Right in the center of the ring. We saw him break that out uh, in their last matchup, I think. We've got a two count, but it's broken up by Mercury. As we get a pot shot from Titus O'Neil. Wanted to show that he is part of this matchup, too. Drop kick by Heath Slater in the corner of the ring. Trying to keep him far away from Mercury. As we get a couple of fight, uh, shots to the face from Heath Slater. Heath Slater probably going to try and keep his uh, record as top of the NXT even in these tag team matchups uh, if he needs to try and switch out to Titus O'Neil for a victory to take place he should as you see uh, Irish whips in the corner once again uh, trying to do a double team maneuver perhaps yes and here they go as they whip Heath Slater around the ring drop toe hold into an elbow into the back Heath Slater Heath Slater stuck in the bottom of that 
And now we're going to get a little attack on the back from Joey Mercury. Mercury making his way into the ring. Mercury has not had such a fair uh, ranking here in NXT. I believe he's more down in the 10 spot. Is he a double arm hook? Uh, slam is a nice kick ups by both of these guys. And uh, Noble back in the ring himself. As you get a nice uh, twisting neck breaker by uh, Slater as he goes for a pin. As one, two, Mercury just barely able to interrupt there. So we got a close one that time. Nice strike to the back by Heath Slater. Now another strike to the gut. As you get a nice head drag takedown. Sort of a driver taking him down on the mat. Going to go over and tag in Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil is first time in the matchup. He lost. Oh, we're going to get a hot tag coming in here from Mercury. But he's fighting off against a fresh Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil just got his way into this matchup. Will he be able to get a good uh, win out of this matchup? No, Titus O'Neil countering that. Uh, he tried to get a fast one on Titus O'Neil. He won't have none of it as he picks up Mercury, sends him down on the mat. Will he go for a quick pin? No. Going to grab the head and do several big strikes to the bald head of Joey Mercury. Big strikes over here. Nice pop-up slam showing the strength Tadis O'Neal has as he now goes for another series of strikes. A uh, bit of a miss there as Mercury now gets a drop to hold, taking Tadis O'Neal down onto the mat. Mercury going to keep the aggression on his side for not too long as we get big strikes from Tadis O'Neal. The uh, Florida Gator drop to hold once again, keeping that Gator down on the mat. He's going to go for this attack on the little back once again, sort of like a camel clutch. But uh, just attacking the back would be a good setup for that. We've got a head drag in the center of the ring. Another drop to hold. He seems to be favoring that move tonight on Titus O'Neil as well as this one. Attacking the lower back of Titus O'Neil once again. Trying to weaken the strength of the dog this yard. Uh, Titus O'Neil. Nice strike. Slap across the face. And now quick jabs. Countered by Titus O'Neil with a big boot to the gut. As you see now, a big... Oh... Uh, that's like a big ending there, uh, somewhat, as he goes for a pin on to Mercury here. Ref very slow to count, but it's a one. It's only a one count as Mercury quick kicks out there. That looked like sort of a big ending there, as now we see this pop-up powerbomb that he's won several matches with. He's going to go for a pinfall on to Mercury for a one, two, three. And that's it all, folks. Heath Slater and O'Neal win again. It seems like the NXT champion Fandango has chosen his next opponent. We saw him use this similar sort of fashion against uh, a big cast before their title opportunity. As we see Sami Zayn now whipping in Ken, um, Hideo Itami into the center of the ring. Uh, Finn, ba uh, Finn Balor, his tag team partner. As he goes for a pinfall real quick here. One, two... Three, not quite. All right, I've been a mess here. As uh, Hideo Itami now fights off against Sami Zayn uh, in this main event matchup. Nice suplex here right into the center of the ring. Uh, Sami Zayn off of a very hot victory, series of victories over over his good friend Adrian Neville. As we see a nice uh, moonsault there, standing moonsault on to Hideo Itami. We saw Hideo's good friend and tag team partner Finn Balor win his match earlier tonight against Jay Uso. As you see another snap suplex here, right into the center of the ring, onto the lower back of uh, Hideo. Does he go? Another lower back attack with that swift kick. Now, Hideo has been known for his striking ability. As you see a counter here, Hideo sending Sammy down onto the mat with that armbar takedown. Series of strikes now to the gut of Sammy as he picks him up. What is he going to go for here? Of course, um, Hideo with a bit of an advantage here as Sammy was attacked at the beginning of this matchup by our uh, NXT champion. Nice lift up DDT there. And now he's going to go for another moonsault here. Will he go for the Koji clutch or the Huluva kick? 
uh, Sami Zayn won that match. Oh, here's that spinning power bomb that he looks so great with. Hey, that's a, that's almost a three count as Hideo kicks out just barely. He was able to beat Tom Adrian Neville in a nice ma uh, submission only match. Is that Hurricane Rana now with a busting open the head of Hideo Itami? He gets picked up here. Sammy gonna go for a headlock. Gonna go for a suplex here. Nice suplex into the pin here for a one. Two, only a two count there. Nice vertical suplex with a rollover for the pin. Headlock applied. Is he going to go for it again? No, snap suplex this time. Very quick there. As now he's going to go for the gut and try and perhaps try and weaken Hideo some more. Reverse DDT taking him down onto the mat. As we get a swift kick to the back once again to Hideo Atami. Hideo started this match out with a bit of an advantage. But unfortunately, he seems to have squandered it as Sammy has gotten a lot of damage out. Will he be able to bring it back? That suplex will likely help. As he gets a suplex on the outside, he goes for the pin here. One, only a one count as Sammy kicks out here. He's going to pick him up now. Headlock applied. Will he go for? No. Oh, with nice sunset flip bomb into a pin for a two and a three. Not quite. Just a, just a kick out just before the three count comes down. Hideo Itami keeps himself in this matchup. Both men very tired now after that amazing sunset flip. Headlock applied from Hideo as he gets up first. Nice snap suplex into the ropes. Sammy now on the mat. He goes for the pin here for uh, nothing as the foot was underneath the rope. It was a rope break there as now Sammy going to get a nice headlock applied. Going to go for another snap suplex. As these guys continue to size up each other and try to finish this match out, out the match up out, as both of these guys might want to get themselves towards that NXT Championship, especially after a hot string of victories Sami Zayn has had. Nice strike, Hideo striking as well. Head drag takedown, kick to the lower back. With well, that was very stiff there, as now it looks like he's going for something big. Will he bust open uh, him as well? No, he's popping him up for the go to sleep here. Sammy wiggling, but not going anywhere. That knee to the face of Sammy Zayn for the pin. One, two, three. Hideo Itami is your winner of the main event.